Hello, nature lovers. Welcome to another incredibly exciting and probably slightly confusing video. Uh, today is all about productivity. So what exactly is productivity? It's really simply just talking about something making something. Okay, it's productive. But we might want to quantify it and we'll say how much of something is made in a given space at a given time. So how much stuff is made in this factory in an hour? So what is productivity? Well, uh, an example in an ecosystem would be if you took a prairie and you measured out, let's just say one square meter, a meter by a meter, and you measured the growth for a whole year, that would be how much, how productive that ecosystem was in that meter, okay? So we have terms like gross and net with productivity. So what's gross mean? Gross refers to the total amount of something that's made as a result of an activity. So your total profit or your total paycheck, right? Your salary. But um, in an ecosystem, it's the total amount of energy that's made in an ecosystem before we account for any of the life processes. And if you're really thinking about it, that's really just photosynthesis. It's the total amount of photosynthesis that is taking sunlight and turning it to glucose. So in contrast, what's net mean? Well, net is when you take all your deductions out of stuff, like your paycheck, right? So you, if you own a business, you gotta pay for your workers, your materials, the building, taxes, and when you're done, you may have a lot of profit or you may not have much, and so that's your net profit. In an ecosystem, it's, you take the, it's really, let's simplify it. I know I have a big explanation here, let's simplify it. It's really the amount of glucose minus the amount of respiration, okay? And that's really fundamentally what it is. So what are the differences between net and gross? Uh, gross is always more than net, and gross is before respiration, and net is after, okay? So when we look at plants, we're gonna think about a term called primary and secondary. We're gonna talk about those things, and they relate to this, so there's another term. In ecology, primary refers to autotrophs, which are organisms that make their own food. And the most common one we're gonna talk about is plants. There's others, but plants are the most common. So secondary is actually heterotrophs. And heterotrophs are organisms that eat other organisms for food. The most common is animals, but that also includes fungi and bacteria, some bacteria and some protists. They also do that, okay? So now you know a lot of terms. Let's put them all together, okay? And what I want you to do, I'm gonna give you a little thing like this. I want you to pause it and try and answer it yourself and then check the answer. So starting out, what is gross productivity? Well. It is the total gain of biomass or energy in an area before any deductions happen, okay? So if you take the force, it's really the total amount of biomass that is made or the total amount of energy that's converted in there. So what about net productivity? What's that? Pause. Well, since all organisms have to respire to stay alive, um, it's, it's that gross productivity minus the respiration. Okay, and so it's that gain of what you have. Yeah, I know, it's a little confusing. We're gonna go through it in different ways right now, okay? So, um, really, here it is. It's just, it's just gross productivity minus respiration. That's net productivity. That tells us how much energy we have left over when we take out respiration, okay? So what's gross primary productivity? Now we're getting to crazy terms. Well, gross primary productivity is the amount of biomass that's produced by plants before they do respiration. Just plants are autotrophs, autotrophs really, okay? So how much glucose is made by autotrophs? So what's net primary productivity? Well, here, look, this thing is gonna be kind of crazy, but all I really want you to know is that, um, I want you to understand that we use net primary productivity because it's easier to measure than gross primary productivity. And it's really just the amount of energy or biomass that exists after a plant or an autotroph has done respiration, okay? Not even all of Mrs. Grimm, just respiration. That's just a picture of biomass right there. Don't sweat that. Um, a more practical way to look at the differences between these is um, it's the difference between how much, how fast we photosynthesize and how fast we respire as a plant, okay? So it's kind of about the glucose, right? It's about um, how's that glucose made and used. Primary gross primary productivity is how it's made, how much is made. Net is how much is used. Yeah, I know your brain hurts. I know you're gonna have to watch it more than once. Well, gross. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, so when we're talking about glucose, remember glucose has a couple things that happen. It's not just about energy. It's also about biomass, and so some of it is used 
for doing the processes in life, and some of it generates biomass, okay? So it's doing both those things. And so um, when we're kind of saying what happens to the glucose, it's all about what happens to the glucose. We're saying that, that on one hand, we're measuring the processes, and what's left over is our biomass. And, and how do we measure that? Well, it's really interesting. We just take the plant, and we dry it out, and we weigh it, and we call that dry mass. It's kind of easy, right? So, what is a system's net primary productivity? It's just the rate that the plants accumulate dry mass. And you measure it by meters, uh, I'm sorry, it's grams per meter squared. And that might be a really good question. I might ask you about uh, gross primary productivity and net primary productivity and what's the difference. You feel like that right now? Yeah, I can see that. And, um, well, first know this. Know this, net primary productivity just equals gross primary productivity minus respiration. And then, you know, watch the video again. It'll help. Here's something else. I know, more? What is primary productivity? Primary productivity is the amount of energy available to heterotrophs in an ecosystem. So essentially what that's saying is, if you take all of the, the glucose that is made by all of these plants, and that glucose is now available for other organisms to eat, that's primary productivity. So you ready for some secondary productivity? <laughs> I'm not either. So let's just stop, let's deal with that, and we'll deal with the other this weekend. So uh, I know there's gotta be questions about no net productivity. Watch the video again, ask me questions, otherwise, peace out, homie. Prairie chicken. <laughs>